Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. The XOR gate. Please watch our video on fault tree analysis before watching this video. Link to that video is provided in the description of this video. Friends, the XOR gate is a very peculiar type of gate. Here is a symbol that is commonly used. An alternate symbol that can be used is also shown here. In XOR gate, the output event occurs if exactly one of the input events occurs. Let us understand the truth table of an XOR gate with two lower level events A and B and one top level event E. When A, B both do not occur, the top level event E also does not occur. When one of the lower level events, for example, B occurs, but A does not occur, the output event E will occur. Similarly, when the other input event A occurs, but B does not occur, the top level event E will occur. In XOR gate, if the lower level events A and B of both occur, then the top level event does not occur. Now this is the difference between the regular OR gate and an XOR gate. Let us now understand the probability calculation in case of an XOR gate. The XOR gate example shown here has top level event E and lower level events A and B with probability of 0.1 and 0.2 respectively. For an XOR gate, probability of output event E with inputs A and B will be given by A bar B plus A B bar where A bar is equal to 1 minus A and B bar is equal to 1 minus B. So A bar and B bar are complements of A and B. Here A is equal to 0.1, A bar will be equal to 1 minus 0.1 that is 0.9. B is equal to 0.2, therefore B bar will be 1 minus 0.2 that is 0.8. Substituting these values in the above equation, we can get that the probability of E will be equal to 0.25. Now let us see a more complex example with XOR gate. The following fault tree diagram, this fault tree diagram was developed by a team with various probabilities given for A1, A2, A3, A4 and the lower level event B1, B2, B3 and C1 and C2. The probabilities are mentioned against each of the event. We have to find out what is the likelihood that a system fault will occur for the top level event system fault. There are four options A, B, C and D and we have to find out which is the correct one. We will start with the XOR gate wherein the inputs are C1 and C2 and the output is B2. Probability of B2 will be given by C1 bar C2 plus C1 into C2 bar which can be stated as 0.2 into 0.7 plus 0.8 into 0.3 and which works out to be 0.38. Therefore, the probability of B2 is 0.38. We now go to the next gate upper level. For the next OR gate, probability that none of the events B1, B2, B3 will occur will be given by 1 minus 0.9 into 1 minus 0.38 into 1 minus 0.8 which equals 0 0.0124. Therefore, probability that any of the three or all will occur will be given by 1 minus 0 0.0124 that equals 0 0.9876 which is the probability of event A3. 
for the next AND gate, which is the topmost gate, we multiply the probabilities of A1, A2, A3 and A4 as these are independent events and we get the probability of the system fault as 0.4977. If you look at the four options, option C is the correct one which says 0.4977 and our answer matches with that. A quick recap, we have explained the XOR gate, its probability calculation and an illustration example in this video. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it worth watching. Please subscribe to Institute of Quality and Reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on Reliability Engineering, Six Sigma and Quality Engineering.